Well, you've got the leg beautifully straight um, on, on both coronal and sagittal planes, and, and that's just what she, she needs to get going. Um, the, the osteotomy, I, I think the issue with the external fixator is, um, is it does probably drive your osteotomy a little bit higher than maybe you can get with a plate. Um, your, um, you, you've been very thoughtful in getting largely metaphyseal fixation with your shans pins and maybe a fine wire more distally, because I think you maybe had an eye of just not wanting to put too much fixation into the epiphysis, maybe for risk of sepsis. Um, so keeping that above the capsule makes a lot of sense, but it does place you a little bit higher on that osteotomy. And you do need to have that posterior translation that you built in. Um, and because you're a little bit higher, that posterior translation looks like it's uh, it looks like it's a bit more of a bump. Um, I think that in time she's, um, you know, she's getting close to maturity, but a lot more remodeling will happen over the course of the next year or so. And I think that will really flatten out. Um, possibly there's half a centimeter more posterior translation than needed. Um, but uh, it certainly needs to be built in. Otherwise you end up with a very unattractive hockey stick shaped distal femur. And, and I think that's much, much worse, both for patellofemoral alignment and the overall anatomical axis. Right. But so, I think so your then, approach yeah. to getting the correction first, being the most important, knowing that it's far easier to come back at a second stage and do the lengthening was was totally the right call.